Uh, as you can imagine, we talked a little bit about that with the, uh, the Great Lakes uh, Tribal Council as well. Uh, and we just had earlier this summer, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, the Deputy Secretary actually came here to Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and talked about this issue because before that, the BIA had had some pretty stringent requirements, not the least of which was this commutability standard. Uh, that's been changed, that's been uh, essentially removed as they amended it. <clears throat> so we're still trying to look at that more closely, but you know, what I've said is, in terms of conditions, assuming it's all right with the new BIA rules, is uh, there'd have to be a consensus in the community where uh, a tribal government is looking to, to put the gaming, um, which a number of communities have expressed some interest in. There'd have to be at least some degree of consensus amongst the tribal leaders, not just the tribal leaders in one tribal government, but amongst the 11 uh, tribal leaders, because I, I mentioned at the time, I don't want to come to the next meeting and have to separate people in the corners because uh, people are upset about this operation or that operation. I said, I want to have some degree of consensus to the extent that you can, understanding that you've got to balance things out. And then third, I said, I, I think in terms of in the past, at least, long before I was in government, uh, people voted back in the early 90s about uh, how, how much overall gaming there should be. And I know in the past, when there have been some other changes, when they went to an area that might be more profitable, they moved operations from one spot, or at least portions of them, to another spot. If that balance could be held in fact, that's what it would work. So I don't think there's an opportunity. The key would be having to hit each of those thresholds and making sure the federal government, through the Bureau of Indian Affairs, would be willing to, to consider. But it sounds like at least they're giving a new look based upon these new Thank you. Ready? Yeah. Would they could expand some kind of uh, industry here? But, um, yeah, there's no doubt about it. In fact, uh, we talked about this, Tom mentioned that specifically. Um, and I think with this new Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, we just started that July 1, so it's just been a few weeks in. But one of the things we're looking to do is help um, businesses that are looking to grow make the investment to grow uh, jobs in the given area. We think there's an opportunity to do that. We also think, well, certainly gaming is an important element. One of the things I'd encourage, not only here, but with each of the uh, uh, 11 tribal governments, what I've heard repeatedly from tribal leaders is we need to diversify. We need to have, certainly want strong gaming, but we want, whether it's manufacturing, whether it's uh, agriculture, whether it's alternative fuels, or any number of ideas out there, and from our standpoint, one of the key things, you know, having 11 sovereign nations within the state of Wisconsin, we want with this new corporation to view our tribal governments as partners in economic development, much as the same way as we're looking also amongst regions. There's seven or eight different regions of economic development in the state to make sure we're partners and not duplicating, but partnering on the same path so that we're not working on one project that runs contrary to another project. But certainly, from the expansion uh, from the electric uh, 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 electricians, electric component, I think that's that would be a good area of growth for us. Uh, and I'm going to be in Washington on Thursday to meet with all the members <coughs> of Congress from Wisconsin, the Democrat, Republican, alike in the Senate and the House. And so, hopefully, by then we'll have an update. Uh, but it, 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 changes almost hourly as to what their plans are. As far as I've seen it in the plans for anything to deal with Social Security, any of the plans I've seen from the President, from the Senator of the House, <coughs> none of them are affecting people over the age of 55. Uh, where they end up, again, I'm hoping to find out some more when I meet the delegation from Wisconsin on Thursday at the, at the United States Capitol. Um, I'm meeting to talk about a number of other things, but obviously, What's going on in this debate will be a key part of that. My predecessor had a good relationship. We tried to build and expand that even beyond just the meeting once a year. That's why I'm doing quarterly meetings and being like here today to, to meet with the larger council, but then to go to, and meet with different tribal councils to see operations, to not just have the meetings in the capital. I think that's a good way of getting out and seeing what's going on and have a good understanding. The other part is you'll see, you know, with the Deputy Secretary Rhodes here, but uh, 
you mentioned natural resources. Kathy Stepp, our secretary of the DNR, I know you can fish to order with Tom and, and uh, at, at a good time as well as a good consultation. We're going to expect that from all of, of our cabinet secretaries. And we think that's not only, not only is it our obligation, we think it's a good opportunity. Because we think the more, more communications we have up front, the more discussion, uh, the, the more we can address things early on and uh, find a good way for the state and our tribal governments to, to work well again. 